सो माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर जिनेश्वर एलिगोड़ा प्रोफेसर एंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एनाटॉमी हेड ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट गुलाबरा पाटिल होमियोपैथिक मेडिकल कॉलेज मीरस सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द एनाटॉमी ऑफ किडनी सो इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डील द ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द एनाटॉमी ऑफ द किडनी राइट एंड लेफ्ट किडनी दैट इज वी आर गोइंग टू डील सो इन द किडनी यू आर टू सी दीज थ्री स्पेसमैन वी आर गोइंग टू डील टूडे those are the different uh, one which is we are going to get and uh, kidney in the introduction you have to remember there are two kidneys right and left kidney this is a right kidney and this is a left kidney and uh, introduction or synonyms of the kidney as uh, you have to add the introduction of the kidney in that you have to remember the almost all the uh, renal or renal that re relates to the kidney renale or renal nephrology and nephron all these are relates to the kidney so that one should you remember the in the synonyms renal means kidney relating nephron that also relating to the kidney so that is according to the greek and latin words then going to the introduction of the kidney introduction in that you have to remember the kidneys are the these are the kidneys are the pair of excretory organs and they are situated in the on the posterior abdominal wall each one of which are situated on either side of the vertebral column and uh, they are situated on the posterior abdominal wall whatever the peritoneum covering organs like abdominal organs all behind that there is a situation of the kidney so that we call as a kidneys are the that is a pair of excretory organs situated on the posterior abdominal wall next going to the after the introduction these kidneys are specially uh, excretory organ they removes the metabolic waste products of protein and they excrete the poisonous like uh, that is a creatinine urea uric acid all that is a removed so water balance uh, electrolyte balance all will be filter of the blood all will be done by the kidney so erythropoietin also helping for the that is a erythropoiesis and renin also secreted that will be maintaining the blood pressure so all these are the primary and functions of the kidney then going to the anatomy of the kidney in this anatomy you have to explain the first one that is a uh, location of the kidney as i have told location of the right and left kidney they are situated on the posterior abdominal wall on either side of the vertebral column so they are situated in the totally extending from the that is a whatever you have to remember right kidney is little lower than the left kidney so right kidney is lower than the left kidney because right kidney which is lower because maximum above occupying organ will be the liver so liver will occupy the maximum location of the abdomen because of that the right kidney is lower left kidney is little bit higher then next comes left kidney is uh, nearer to the vertebral column that is a nearer to the vertebral column than the right one and the, these all kidneys right and left kidney they are situated in the that is a four quadrants of the abdomen you have to remember hypochondriac and uh, epigastric and uh, lumbar and umbilical region so they are situated in the four quadrants that is the one which is this is area comes about the hypochondriac then next comes about the that is a uh, epigastric then we are going to get lumbar and we have the umbilical region all four quadrant location they are located extending from the t12 to the l3 vertebrae t12 vertebrae vertebrae you are going to get t12 to the l3 vertebrae that is a extension where the location of the kidney so this is the kidney location that is from the you are going to get the t12 to l3 and situated in the four quadrants of the abdomen that is a hypochondriac epigastric then lumbar epigastric so all these are the four quadrant the kidney is located then measurements of the kidney you have to remember the size and shape of the kidney the kidneys are the bean shape shape will be the that is a bean shape you are going to get and uh, size will be the measuring about the length which is you are to remember major support the 11 cm in length then we are going to get the 6 cm breadth 
and we are going to get the 3 cm in the width. So you can remember this will be the length which is length of the kidney will be the 11 cm then we have the 6 cm then thickness will be the 3 cm. So length, breadth and width of the kidney. Then weight of the kidney here you have to explain the kidney is weight about nearly you have to remember 150 grams. So kidney weighs about 150 grams in male, 135 grams in the female. So these are the measurements or uh, you have to remember about the uh, size, shape and weight of the kidney. Next going to the other parts, after this we have to go to the uh, whatever the relations of the kidney. So first most important when you see the kidney, you are going to have the, that is a right kidney, it is having the surfaces and borders. So what are the each kidney consisting? This is the right kidney, left kidney. So external features of the kidney are, first you have to know, it has a two pole, superior and inferior pole. We have the, this is the superior pole and this is the inferior pole. The two borders, it is a one medial border and we have the lateral border. This is the anterior surface and this is the posterior surface. So you have to mention external features of the kidney. Kidney has superior pole and inferior pole. Then we have the medial border and lateral border, anterior surface and this is the posterior surface. So in this you have to mention the these are the external features of the kidney. Next you have to get the, on the upper pole of the kidney, we are going to have, this is the right suprarenal gland. This is the one which is, you can remember about the right suprarenal gland. We are going to get on the left kidney, left suprarenal gland. So in this you have to explain the, all the external features of the each kidney, right and left kidney. Going to the next part which is we have to explain most important that is the relations of the kidney. So when you see the in the relations we are going to have the, the anterior surface relations and posterior surface relation. When you see the right kidney relations in this right kidney the upper pole is related to the which is we call as a suprarenal gland, right suprarenal gland. Then we have the here hepatic area, right lobe of liver is related and this is the one second part of duodenum is related and here jejunum and here is a colon. So colon here right side you have to tell hepatic plexure of colon and here medially jejunum that is a part of small intestine related. So what are the anterior relations of the right kidney? Right kidney relates to the upper pole to the right suprarenal gland. Then we have the second part of duodenum, then hepatic area relating that is a right lobe of liver, jejunum and colon. Colon is that is a hepatic plexure of colon. Next to the left kidney, left kidney is relates to the left suprarenal gland on the above. Then next we have the here stomach and here we are going to have the spleen. So spleen, stomach and uh, left suprarenal gland. Here we are going to get the pancreas, pancreatic relation. Here again jejunum and colon. Here colon you have to relate that is a splenic plexure of colon. So splenic plexure of colon in the left. Here we have hepatic plexure of colon on the right. Jejunum and jejunum. Both the side jejunum, jejunum. Here left side uh, splenic plexure of colon. Right side we have the hepatic plexure of colon. So what are the relations of the anterior relations of the left kidney? We have the left suprarenal gland, we have the here stomach related and spleen, then pancreas, jejunum and colon. So those are the relations of the kidney. So better understanding, best, better understanding you should know the what are the uh, uh, painted one specimen which is you can see that is about the relations of the right and left kidney. So you have to mention here you have the second part of duodenum, here suprarenal gland, right kidney, so right suprarenal gland, second part of duodenum, hepatic area, right lobe of liver relation, jejunum and colon. Here left suprarenal gland, we are going to get, here we have the, after that we have the stomach, then we have the here area pancreas and here we have the splenic area, spleen is related, spleen, stomach, suprarenal and this is a pancreas 
jejunum and colon is related to the anterior relations of the right and left kidney this is a painted specimen to better understanding of the relations areas next uh, we are to discuss the what are the posterior relations of the that is a kidney posterior relations when when you see the this is the posterior relations or posterior surface of the kidney and this is the posterior relations here you have the almost all the related to the one which is a medial arcuate ligament and lateral arcuate ligament so we have the medial arcuate ligament lateral arcuate ligament then four muscles are related here diaphragm almost all the relations will be the diaphragm and here we have the psoas major muscle cordatus lumborum muscle and transversus abdominis muscle so we are going to get the that is the first psoas major cordatus lumborum transversus abdominis and diaphragm four muscles are related on the posteriorly and medial and lateral arcuate ligament then we are going to get the, on the uh, lower part on the posteriorly we have the subcostal nerve and subcostal vessels we are going to get the subcostal nerve subcostal vessel and uh, ilioinguinal iliohypogastric nerve and ilioinguinal nerve so left kidney this is the left kidney left kidney relates to the little it is higher 11th and 12th rib and whereas in the right one you are going to it is lower little bit so that it is relates to the 12th rib so 12th rib is related to the posteriorly to the uh, right kidney and we have the here relations that is 11th and 12th rib in the uh, left kidney so other common relations of the posterior are what you have the medial arcuate ligament lateral arcuate ligament and diaphragm is related four muscle diaphragm then psoas major cordatus lumborum then transversus abdominis these all are the four muscle related then medial arcuate lateral arcuate ligament then we have the subcostal vessels and nerve then iliohypogastric nerve ilioinguinal nerve and here posteriorly relates to the this is the left kidney so it relates to the that is a we are going to get 11th and 12th rib so these are the relations of the uh, right and left kidney so what is a medial border relates medial border is all the consist the it is a hilum of the kidney so both the kidney where you can see this is a hilum of the kidney so from anterior to the posteriorly it is relating to the renal vein renal artery and pelvis of the ureter so from anterior to posterior this is the renal vein renal artery you are going to get then we have the pelvis of the ureter so this is all about the you have to remember about the medial border and lateral border is convex anterior surface is uh, lobulated and convex whereas posterior surface is flat so that is the one which is you have to remember in the relations of the kidney so here also you have the posterior relations you have to mark on the posteriorly it is a flat one which is i have shown in the that is a left kidney marking so these are the relations of the kidney then going to the what are the structure of the kidney i have told hilum also so here in this specimen you can see this is the one uh, renal veins which are there from the inferior vena cava you are going to get and aorta we are going to get that is and these are the ureter so whatever the you have to mention first superficially vein artery then we have the ureter that is a pelvis that is all about the uh, relations at the hilum of the kidney then next going to the uh, structure of the kidney when we take the section of the kidney here one both the section we are going to get the longitudinal section of the kidney so just to remember this is the structure of the kidney where we see here when there is a longitudinal section is taken kidney in this you are going to see the following structure this is a macroscopic structure of the kidney macroscopic so macroscopic structure of the kidney it will be consisting of outermost is a cortex and inner is the medulla so outermost this is the one which is a cortex and innermost is a two layers it is made up of even outermost covering renal capsule renal capsule or renal fascia is covered 
outer most then we have the outer most layer in the kidney that is we have the that is a uh, cortex and next we have the this is all is a medulla so medullary part which is consists the these are the renal pyramids pyramid like structure which are there we are going to get the these are the renal pyramids these are the renal pyramid in between the two renal pyramid that area we are going to call as a renal column and apex of the renal column we call as a renal sinus so renal sinus renal column and these are the renal pyramids then going to the renal uh, sinus which opens into the minor calyx it forms the major calyx and it will form the pelvis of the ureter so pelvis of the ureter then major calyx minor calyx sinuses of the renal sinus so once again to revise the kidney macroscopic structure it consists of the cortex outermost and inner is a medulla medulla has the renal pyramid we call pyramid like structure on the medullary region we have the renal pyramid in between the renal pyramid renal column then in the renal column we have the uh, apex of the renal column forming the renal sinus then we are going to get the that is a minor calyx major calyx and pelvis of the ureter so this is all about the macroscopic structure of the kidney so each kidney microscopically it consist of about 1 to 3 millions of the nephrons so each kidney consist 1 to 3 millions of the nephron each kidney so nephron part bowman's capsule then we have the afferent efferent arteries then uh, we have the neck of the bowman's capsule that all will be present in the even including the collecting duct on the that is a cortex remaining descending loop loop and ascending loop of the henle and uh, we are going to get in the medulla so structure that is a functional and structural unit of kidney is a nephron so nephron part where they are con consisting in the cortex and in the medulla so this is what about the macroscopic structure of the kidney and microscopic structure you have to explain the that is the nephron structural and functional unit of kidney is called as an nephron so i have told bowman's capsule and afferent efferent artery wall in the cortex region and medullary region we are going to get the uh, almost all the descending loop loop and ascending loop of henle that is a consisting so these are the part which is you can remember in the almost all the kidney so in this explanation you have to remember the structure of the kidney then going to the blood supply of the kidney so whatever the blood supply will be the renal artery so whatever the renal artery which is a branch of the abdominal aorta so blood supply of kidney is by the renal artery and this renal artery is a branch of abdominal aorta and venous drainage is renal vein that is uh, draining into the inferior vena cava lymphatic drainage is para aortic and aortic group of lymph nodes draining the lymphatic drainage then nerve supply will be the that is a renal plexus of nerve those are we are going to call as a uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic sympathetic by t10 to l1 nerve and parasympathetic by vagus so parasympathetic by vagus and sympathetic by we are going to get the uh, we are going to get t10 to l1 so renal plexus of nerve which are there this is all about the renal artery renal vein renal plexus and uh, para aortic group of lymph nodes they are draining the lymphatic drainage so blood supply venous drainage and the lymphatic drainage and nerve supply of the kidney so after this we are going to explain the these are the specimen where you can see the applied anatomy of the kidney this is the one kidney which is right kidney is normal here you can see the right kidney is normal and left kidney is consisting the many small uh, structure which is you are going to get renal stone those are we call as in a kidney stones or renal lithiasis so renal lithiasis you have to remember in the applied anatomy of kidney so in the applied anatomy of kidney first you have to tell palpation of the kidney on the posterior abdominal wall second one renal calculi or the renal lithiasis that is a formation of kidney stones then you are going to next explain about the that is a floating kidney 
uh, abnormally development of kidney can be horseshoe shape of kidney that is a kidney pain or the renal pain is loin to groin so loin region there is a starting of the kidney pain and that is uh, radiating to the groin region so loin to groin region especially in the kidney stone we have the radiating pain loin to groin region so that is all about the kidney then next you have to remember about the if the kidney fails to work we can transplant the kidney so that is we call as a kidney transplant we do and if kidney is failed one we want to take the, give the rest for the kidney and uh, if the serum creatinine is increased we do the dialysis in the two methods that is uh, we have the peritoneal dialysis and we have the hemolytic dialysis hemolytic dialysis and peritoneal dialysis and these all are the applied anatomy of the kidney so these are this is one rare specimen of our department where you can see the 200 plus stones in the one kidney left kidney we are dissecting one batch to our college there we got this is a specimen which is a cadaver consisting the kidney with the many 225 stones which are very small and filled with the all the pouch or the part of the kidney so this is a very rare and uh, our department special specimen in the gulagra patli homeopathic medical college because there there are stones which are more than 200 so this is the one which is you have to remember so next going to the other parts where the renal system consisting the you have the uh, ureter you are going to get here you have the uh, right ureter and left ureter and here we have the urinary bladder and uh, we have the here is a prostate this is a male one which is we are cons consisting the prostate gland and these are the surfaces superior and inferior lateral and neck of the urinary bladder so you are going to get the trigon of urinary bladder in the trigon of the urinary bladder interior of the trigon of the urinary bladder right and left ureter opens into the urinary bladder and in the we are going to get urethric one urethric opening and two ureteric opening ureter right and left ureter opening and urethral opening forming the triangular area interiorly and that is we call as a trigon of urinary bladder so you have to remember about the urinary bladder and uh, this is the one which is you can get the ureter you have the here right and left ureter one which is you are going to get the right ureter and left ureter so you are going to get here uh, you have the that is a specimen aorta and inferior vena cava and the, here we have the renal vein and renal artery renal pelvis so this is all about the kidney we have uh, studied the kidney uh, that is uh, under the following head that is uh, we have first studied the what is the synonym of the kidney then i have told the introduction of the kidney what is the definition of the kidney then location of the kidney then what are what is the measurement that is the size shape and uh, uh, we have studied weight of the kidney then uh, as you kidney you have to reddish brown in color we are going to get reddish brown that is the one which is you are going to get then you have to ex uh, explain the i have tried to explain the what are the external features of the kidney in this external features i have told two poles two borders two surfaces then i have told the relations of the kidney so anterior relation posterior relations of the kidney you have to uh, study then i have told the blood supply venous drainage lymphatic drainage nerve supply then structure of the kidney that is a macroscopic and microscopic structure of the kidney microscopic structure you have to write histology of kidney that is a nephron then you have to explain the macroscopic that is whatever the cortex and medulla you have to explain functions i have told in the introduction then i have told the clinical anatomy of kidney under these all headings under these all heads we have studied the kidney so this is all about the study of kidney or study of anatomy of kidney right and left kidney so this is all about the today's my lecture and in the practical that is i have covered the that is the right and left kidney